Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast on narcissism. So today I want to discuss a little more with you guys about the demonic in the narcissist. Uh, You guys know in one of my previous podcasts, I discussed a little bit about the Jezebel spirit and how um, it operates in the female narcissist. Now, a lot of people wonder sometimes, you know, my goodness, why is it that I'm always attracting all these narcissists, you know? Why are they drawn to me constantly, you know? Well, you know something, sometimes your light attracts moths and your warmth attracts parasites. So you have to protect your space and your energy. It's very, very important because remember, you are an empath. So unfortunately for us empaths, we're always going to attract these types of narcissists. You know, it's sadly enough, it's inevitable, you know. But you know what? And I know I understand the frustration of many of you out there who deal with these narcissists who still haven't been exposed, you know? But you know what? Give it time. Because the weak in character always get tired of pretending. Their true colors will show. And that's what, remember, that's what the narcissist is all about. They're all about pretending. They're all about putting a facade. Okay? They're all about wearing a mask. Eventually, their true colors will show. Eventually, the mask will slip. I could guarantee you that. See, a lot of people go around thinking with the mentality because the narcissist, in their mind, they feel invincible. You know, nothing and no one could touch them, you know. So they have programmed their victims to think that way as well, to believe, oh, wow, I'm never going to be able to take down the narcissist, you know? The narcissist will never be exposed. Well, guess what? Yes, they will. Eventually, they do. Like I said, eventually, they get tired of pretending. Sooner or later, something is going to send them into that rage, and they're just going to expose themselves, you know? Sooner or later, (laughs) everyone sits down to a banquet of consequences. And that's how it is for the narcissist. Sooner or later, they have to face the consequences for their actions. Okay? Sooner or later, they will. Now, they are very demonic people. Those with an evil heart seem to have a talent for destroying anything beautiful which is about to bloom. And that's you, the empath. You know, the empath has so much beauty inside. You know, you, as an empath, you are filled with light. You bring joy and light to others, you know. And right when you are about to bloom, that's when the narcissist attacks the most because... They want to destroy that. They have an evil heart, you know, and they they have that talent for destroying anything, any beauty in you whatsoever. Like I said, anything that's about to bloom. Now, narcissists are abusers. Whichever way you want to see it or put it, plain and simple, it all boils down to them being abusers. And abusers do what? They seek out strong, often very energy attractive people who are generally quite well liked. You know? So that's why they draw to you (laughs) like a moth to a flame. Because you have that, you, the empath, have that light inside you, that beauty that attracts other people. You have such a positive energy around you. So people are generally, you know, drawn to you. You are very well liked by a lot of people because of your light, your energy, your beauty inside and out. Because guess what? Beauty is not only outward, but inward as well. Well, the narc cannot stand that. 
The narc is an abuser. And that's why they seek out people like you. You know? They seek out people like you because you become their target. They want to take you down because, like I've mentioned many times before on my other podcasts on narcissism, they cannot stand you because how others see you, how others love you, how others praise you, how others support you and lift you up because they cannot stand that they are not the ones in the limelight, you know? And here's the thing that the narcissist does not understand and does not realize. You can't fix yourself by breaking someone else, okay? The narcissist cannot fix themselves by breaking someone else. As hard as they try, as much as they try to hurt others and break others and take others down, that's not going to get them anywhere. They're not going to accomplish anything by that because they are the ones who are broken. So that's why they want to break you. So they cannot fix themselves by trying to break you. You know, it's just not going to happen. And let me tell you something, because the word, I think the word hurt is taking it lightly when it comes to a narcissist, them trying to hurt you. Remember, these are demonic creatures, okay? And like I told you guys before, I'm going to get deeper into this subject because I'm fascinated by all the research I've discovered and how much evidence there is out there, if you do believe in the spiritual world, that narcissists are demonically possessed Things, I, creatures, I can't even call them humans because they are not human. They lack empathy. They cannot feel what we feel. So don't kid yourself. Narcissists don't want to hurt you. They want to murder your entire being, strangle your essence, and shatter your soul into a million tiny pieces, incapable of putting yourself together again. That's what they're seeking out to do to you. Narcissists or psychopaths are projection machine demons constantly searching for a controllable source of energy to exploit and consume to sustain its objective of evil intent. You have to get that through your head. They are evil. You are never going to change them. They are evil. They are demonically possessed. Hurting you isn't something narcissists do by accident. In all the jabber about narcissism, the worst noise is this idea that hurting you is something narcissists do by accident. No, ma'am. No, sir. They don't do this by accident. If you get nothing else out of what makes narcissists tick, get the message that frees you of that ridiculous belief, which is nothing but a baseless assumption. I don't ask you to take my word for this. Test what I say when I say that narcissists hurt you on purpose. Anyone can test any narcissist. And here's how. The next time the narcissist is hurting your feelings or making you feel low, let your feelings show and tell him or her how they are making you feel, asking them to stop it. But wait a minute, be prepared for shock. Any normal human being would soften and let up, but a narcissist will do exactly the opposite. And that's how you know that they are evil. Narcissists regularly provoke people and then blame them for the conflict. So be prepared for that because if you face them, if you, you know, if you face them, if you confront them, if you let them know how you feel, they will turn it around on you and say that you're the one looking for drama and conflict and whatnot. Yet they're the ones triggering you into reacting the way you are reacting because of their evil schemes. And they are always plotting. They are always plotting and scheming against you. Don't let your guard down because that's what they live for each and every single day. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.